impact everybody. Advent. Advent is not a, a, a mournful time, even though even though I'm, I'm actually not. I mean, this is still Pastor Hall. I don't have my lavender coat on, and I'm not in my study with all my artwork behind me. Where I am is actually in the sanctuary of Zion Lutheran Church, where I serve as as their pastor, their their sheepdog. And what color do we have in Advent? Now, some churches have blue, and that's fine and dandy. At Zion, we have purple for Advent. That's what we have as our pyramids and our vestments. And when we look at this color purple, like in Lent, it symbolizes repentance, mourning our sin. And it comes to mind this lovely quote by Luther in his sermon on the second Sunday in Advent, also known as Populus Zion, the people of Zion. And Luther says this, he says, one should not be driven by fear in life, meaning we, we don't despair because we're afraid God hates us, or we don't perform good works because we're scared to death of condemnation, so we try to be as good as possible to get out of it and, you know, appease God a little bit. That's, that's not how we live as Christians, Luther says. Instead of living by fear, we live in the desire to be rid of our sin and instead be righteous, kind of like the beatitude. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. So that's what Luther says Advent is all about. Because Christ is coming back on that last day as we read in Luke 21, and he's coming back not with anger, not with retribution, not to punish you, but it says your redemption draws near. Your redemption is here. Christ is here to take you home with himself, to carry you into that new age by grace alone, because he rids you of your sin. Luther says we should hate our sin so much, it almost drives us to death, meaning we hate ourselves so much that we need to hear the voice of Christ say, take heart, I forgive you, and I love you. And that's what Advent's all about, is Christ telling you, he loves you. He's coming back to claim you. He comes every time in the divine service, not to, not to point out your faults, not to say how you failed this week, but to say, be at peace. I forgive you. Everything's going to be okay. So yeah, we have the purple. Reminding us of our sin. Bringing us to repentance. But we repent to the one who is merciful. The one who desires to save us from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. And the one who doesn't. So take heart this Advent season as you prepare to receive the gifts at the nativity of our Lord Christ. And continue this lovely year that we have in Christ Jesus in the forgiveness of our sins. It's good times. Jesus will continue to rid you of your sin and fatten you up with his righteousness. God bless y'all. Bye-bye. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.